Here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the average AK hater, that your mom said that we have it all. Thanks for watching. The purpose of today's video is I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the AK in 2024 here in the United States. Some of you guys are going to be upset, but that's okay. That's kind of the nature of the channel. Guys, leave a watch or a clock emoji down below to symbolize all the boomers that are going to be upset when they see this video. That's okay. Bear with me. We're going to discuss it. Guys, if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member of the Patreon. It's $5 a month. Gets you access to our Discord server where you can find buddies to train with and to game with. You can stay up late and talk about why the AK is not an outdated uh, rifle. Uh, okay, here we go on that. Um, yeah, it's five dollars a month, and you guys, if you want to support the channel and you want to continue seeing content, please consider just giving me uh, less than a cup of coffee a month. Instagram, it's where you see all the behind the scenes lifting and all the super edited, whatever, uh, cringy stuff. If you want to see all that, go over and check out the Instagram channel. Um, yeah, okay, uh, what else? PSA, Mega Base. If you need a ton of these, Magpul magazines because you're a boomer. Um, and you need to feed your AK, well consider checking out PSA. They stay competitive uh, with the prices and they help support the channel. Okay, let's talk about the AK. So here, I'll just show you what we're talking about right, right off the bat. Here, and yes, it doesn't have the white light because it's on a much more modern, much more uh, legit rifle, but this is kind of a modern take on an AK build. This is an M70. What that means is it weighs a million, uh, 147, 100,690 pounds, okay? Hashtag 42069, blaze it. Uh, but yeah, this thing weighs a lot. Just in an attempt to modernize it with an AR style stock, with just a basic red dot on a really heavy side saddle, um, a cheese grater top, a uh, four grip, just because this thing gets hot as the surface of the sun, and then just a muzzle brake to help uh, the climb of the caliber due to the 762 by 39 that this thing does shoot. Um, this is a modern take on an AK. Um, I should say this before I begin hating on it. I am a boomer. What that means is I have a couple of these. I'll show you another one real quick. Uh, by a couple, I mean a lot. I have several AKs, okay? And there's a reason why. Um, this, is, this has a standard, I guess, triangle style Magpul stock. The uh, KP9 style grip, which is super ergonomic, a hollow sun on a Midwest industry side saddle. Um, I'm gonna sling this other rifle because it literally weighs 100 pounds and holding it by my neck is killing me. Uh, no, I'm not exaggerating, okay? Lift more weights, I do, okay. Um, and this one has like a, the standard wood furniture. This is like a Wasser. So it's extremely over gas, Magpul foregrip, right? And a standard A2 style uh, birdcage, okay? The reason I'm showing you these weapons is they're super cheap, okay? But I just want to give you an idea of when I say AK, I'm not just talking like I'm taking it out of the box and shooting it, shooting it how it is. I'm, I am uh, somewhat trying to modify it to make it more ergonomic and more user-friendly, but I do like leaving it somewhat stock in the kind of Boba Fett vibes, okay? So yeah, this is my uh, Wasser 10 that I have, okay? With all that being said, let's talk about why um, I think and this does have a T-Rex sling. Um, I think I forgot to mention that. Typically, I run a T-Rex sling uh, on these guns. Okay, so let's talk about why I feel the AK pattern rifle is outdated. First, first and foremost, for the new owner, it is going to be an uphill battle, okay, to modernize your AK. I'm not saying don't do it, but what I'm saying is it's going to be a lot easier barrier of entry to get an AR, okay, and to begin shooting your AR, put a red dot on it right out of the box, put a sling on it, and you're good to go. Um, to get this thing uh, user-friendly and fun is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, now, I will say I like shooting this gun, but if I were to run this gun and three drills back-to-back -back and then run an AR, it is a night and day. I would never touch this again because it's so heavy, the recoil, etc. It is a thumper. Um, but that is just talking about the practical application. So modernizing an AK is going to be a lot more difficult for the new shooter out of the box. Zeroing the iron sights. Now you will need a front sight adjustment tool, okay, to zero the iron sights. Obviously the back windage is just adjusting for range. You typically want to leave it on P, okay, for program. 
uh, in Russian, okay? It's like the, uh, I don't know, it looks like the Rakistan symbol, okay? Um, but yeah, leave it on P for program, and then just adjust your front sight. So zeroing is gonna be a lot harder, um, especially if you don't have a front sight tool. Now, I will say a lot of you guys are gonna say, Trent, you're just saying this stuff because people don't have the necessary stuff. That's true, okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but by the end of the video, you'll, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, let's talk about ammo, okay? I'm gonna put this 47,000 pound gun down. Okay, so let's talk about ammo. Uh, ammunition, so the reason why I say the AK is a boomer gun, because a lot of us boomers, like myself, we have stocked up on a ton of this. 762 by 39, okay? We have cans and cans. Uh, let's see if I can find mine. Should have prepared this in advance, right? Okay, this is a 7.62 by 39 can. Okay? This entire thing is full of 7.62 by 39. Nowadays, you cannot buy uh, 7.62 for the prices that you used to be able to get this stuff for. Okay, here's a bunch of it. Um, so back in the day, you used to be able to buy this stuff by the spam can for I don't even know. I couldn't give you a price because it was so cheap. 100 bucks for a thousand rounds. 125 bucks for a thousand rounds. Um, and you could blast all day and it was no big deal. Those days are over, okay? So unless you invested like me and some of y'all did back in the day, uh, if you're just now getting into the AK game, I'm sorry for you because all of us old boomers, and not that I'm that old, but all of us guys that got into the AK game early, we're sitting on 10, 20, 30,000 rounds of uh, 762 by 39, whereas all these new kids are gonna be spending 70 cents a round for standard uh, Tula, right, if they can even find it, or old Russian ammunition. So the, bar the barrier of entry for ammo is a serious problem, especially for 762 by 39 and 545. And those are the only two calibers I would recommend running in an AK pattern because 556 is extremely, extremely unreliable in an AK pattern weapon. And why would you run 556 when you could just run an AR? Okay, especially when the reliability is not there with the magazines due to the nature of the 5.56 cartridge. It does not feed reliably up into the chamber. So um, modifying the AK is extremely difficult compared to an AR, especially here in the United States. Um, and if you don't want to modify it, you're going to be outgunned most likely by some dude with a PSA uh, build. Okay, no hate on PSA, but some $350 PSA build and a hollow sun is going to outgun you and your AK. Okay, um, so modernizing it is more difficult. Um, the ammunition is harder to find. They're harder to shoot. They're harder to operate as opposed to the ergonomic nature of the AR 15 or really any modern rifle. You could even say the AUG, the AUG, uh, or the Tavor, even though they suck, are more modern and better off than the freaking AK. Um, with all that being said, now that I've attacked you AK lovers for the past 10 minutes, okay? Um, it's okay to run your AK, but what you need to understand is unless you're in the category of people like me that have 80 magazines, right, and they have uh, 8,000 rounds or whatever uh, already stocked up for their AK, I would highly discourage you just go the route of 5.56 and AR-15. It's going to be simpler. It's going to save you a lot of time. Now, for those of you that are not going to listen to my advice and are just sitting on a ton of money and you don't know what to spend it on, one, I'm going to try to steer you towards the AR-15 again and just say, burn through some BCMs. Go ruin a couple Daniel Defense barrels, okay, and put your money where your mouth is and go train on a better platform. But if you're really committed to the AK, um, I would say start out with maybe an AK-103 from PSA or, or Kalashnikov USA and burn one of those down, okay? Just burn it down. But the problem you're gonna run into right off the bat is you're gonna realize unless you keep that thing relatively stock, it's gonna get heavy. Um, but if, you know, they are a vibe. Um, the round hits harder than 5.56, especially out to 200 or 250 meters, so that's one good thing. But uh, past 250 meters, it is a rainbow. But if you are hell-bent on getting an AK, I would say get either an AK pistol with either a 10 or 12-inch barrel um, and just have some fun on the range. It doesn't matter, 5.45 or 7.62 by 39. Um, and if you want to get something a little bit larger, get a 103. Uh, an AK-103 from either PSA or KUSA, okay? Both of those are gonna serve you, uh, serve you well. But like I said, I highly recommend you start off with an AR. And if you're just now getting into this uh, training and shooting and home defense and uh, into the world preparation, 
um, you're going to be better off with an AR-15, okay? Um, even though AKs are a vibe, it's, it's just, unless we start getting a manufacturer here local in the United States that starts selling ammo for 40 cents a round again or 35 cents a round, um, unless you start seeing that, it's, you're better off just going with an AR. Sorry, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, let me know what your guys' uh, decision is down in the comments. If you're still rocking an AK, uh, be honest. If you would legitimately choose an AK over an AR, be honest. I want to know. Um, if you would choose an AR, I want to know. Post down below in the comments because I, I strongly believe that most of you guys uh, or feel like most of you guys are legitimately running probably a 12.5 um, AR with some sort of prism. Uh, or a red dot, either an ACOG or a primary arms, probably, or a red dot. I think is what most of my audience is running, somewhere from a 10.5 to a 12.5. Um, and I do have the 20 inch gang out there, but I don't think a lot of you guys are actually running AKs. But every time I make a video hating on AKs, everyone tries to defend them. But I think in today's comment section, I wanna actually see where you guys fall, either AR crowd or AK crowd. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on that are. If you got this far, I need you guys to consider becoming a member of the Patreon. Like I said, it's only $5 a month and it helps out more than you know. Leave your comment for the boomers. And until next time, this is going to be Trench Grenade, your average AK hater, signing out. Cheers.